Welcome back, everybody. Yes, it's finally time to show you what we've been working on for the past couple of months together with the experts. This is the work in progress 1966 bat cycle. We're not completely done, but that's the reason why I'm showing it now, because in the next couple of weeks, I want to make the final changes, tweaks and um, improvements based on the feedback from the experts, based on the stuff that I know that still has to be done uh, and a couple of other things. So um that's why i would like your feedback so let me know uh, what you think i'll tell you what i know that isn't correct so for instance the seating area here this is just a 3d placeholder in in real life this is going to be an actual um cloth seat probably suede and the diamond pattern needs to be smaller so i know this isn't completely accurate um the little pole with the railway light needs to be reversed so that this points forward. Um, there is a couple of other things. We're still working on the location and the placement of these cover plates on both sides, as you can see. Um, so that's still a work in progress. Um, but other than that, a huge shout out to the experts that really helped us uh, get this thing to where it is now. Let me go to the render space where you can maybe see a bit more. There's already so much more that is accurate compared to other versions. Things that are usually wrong are these points. They're not pointy enough. The, the shape is, is wrong. Uh, same as this. Uh, we had to fix the bat computer because there are several versions like all 1966 stuff. There is a, a number two where there's buttons here, but the number one bike where there are very few pictures, much less than the 1966 bat cycle, it was hard to get all these parts right. Um, but the correct bat computer is here for the number one bike, the correct handles, which is uh, another thing, uh, the correct cover plates, um, the correct uh, exhausts as you can see there's uh, they, they are one piece uh, they will be one piece so there's not going to be a seam there don't worry the correct diameter and different diameters of the um, of the pipes here um, as you can see we already have the bat logo and this little bolt as well as all these little um, screws in there that are normally quite wrong this whole thing is usually quite wrong the frame is another thing that we uh, had to really uh, focus on get the front here uh, nice and round here and then there's this weird triple connection that that inverses uh, from the the straight bar low to high to high it's it's all these kinds of uh, very minute details the rear is also something that's usually wrong much too wide in in, in, in other designs so that's something we're fixing we're already up to 150 parts on this thing and that's without the screws electronics lights and all the other stuff that we still have to add uh, and of course there are going to be die cast pieces on this um, as long as it doesn't interfere with the detail and sharpness of uh, of the parts which of course die cast is notoriously slightly less detailed and sharp than the material we use for the other stuff but it is just so cool so we're going to be making a combination of of of, of well, it's going to be mixed materials, right? Like cloth, uh, rubber tires, uh, metal, uh, and different um, plastics uh, and rubbers. So this is where we're at. A huge shout out to the experts, Eric Seltzer from 1966batwheel.com. At one point, he owned the cart and he might have even owned the bat cycle. I think he might have owned all of it. Um, Dominic Artale, who also owned, I think he currently owns the, the, the original cart and has had a very accurate replica of the number one bike made. There are a lot of replicas out there, um, many of them wrong. He had them verified by pictures. And uh, <laughs> William Babington, he, he actually drove two hours for me to go to another museum, get pictures uh, of another bat bike that was there. But a lot of that was quite inaccurate, according to the other experts. So again, everybody, thank you for your help. And uh, I look forward to all your input and uh, I will fix everything in the coming weeks and hope to be able to have a prototype ready to show you uh, sometime late April. Thanks, and until the next video.